followers. Boxing don't have nothing to do with followers. All right. This will be the last man. time anyone ever hears of you. It has to do you with how much crazy. you get paid. That's why you I'm crazy. the highest paid boxer. You crazy. Rockman's going to be in boxing the forever. Fuck? You wild. If Rockman's you, going to be if, in if, boxing if, forever. If you read their Instagram, I can make that bet happen. If you read the Instagram. All right. Let's make the bet happen. It, you want to bet 500K? This is the last chance. Because y'all don't seem confident. Jake, you about to get knocked out, bro. Okay, then bet on it. You about then to, bet I don't on bet it. money. I told then you bet I don't on bet it. money. Then bet on it. I don't bet money. I said let's bet Instagram names. I'll change my money. name to whatever you want if you beat me. Jake. But you have to change Jake. yours to I let my Jake. dad down. You listening to me? He don't want to make the bet. Jake. He's all tough. Jake. Look at them big I'm old not, arms. I'm not, Look I'm at not them. feeding him. I think Jake Paul is going to I think Jake Paul is going to get knocked out. I think this is it. Did you hear the news of the um, New York State Athletic Commission didn't want him to take this fight? He even said um, his team was advising him not to take this fight. Um, the only concern I really have about um, Hasim Rahman Jr. is that I think he flopped. I don't know. You know what we're going to do? In a rare occasion where I'm actually able to show a little bit of footage, I want to go show you guys something for those who didn't see it. We're going to go back and look at um, a clip from Hasim Rahman Jr.'s last fight. And he fought, I didn't know at the time, but he fought the son of Tommy Morrison. This was his last fight. He weighed in at 224 pounds. When did this take place? Let me go check real quick. 12 and one with six KOs, 31 years old. He's listed at six foot three. But he doesn't really look that tall. He looks about, I mean, he looks definitely six foot, but I don't know about six foot three. This was back in April, April the 30th of this year. He was stopped in a fight in which he was winning on the cards against James McKenzie Morrison. And I was uh, told in the uh, comments that this is uh, Tommy Morrison's son. Rest in peace, Rocky Five. So let's go look at this clip. Now tell me what you think. Now, it could a delayed reaction. KO. Let's go look. Get a look at his uh, style. For Morrison, his coach must have told him something like, "Hey, you need need to change this around because it's, it's looking like he's come out with a different his attitude. Demeanor. Yeah, his attitude is completely different." Coach should have told him to go to the body, though. Yeah. That was what the coach didn't tell him. I mean, that's or, what I would have told him. Or either he's not listening. <laughs> his attitude now, he looks like his daddy in whatever Rocky movie that Oh, oh that one hurt. That hurt. one hurt. That one hurt. Oh, oh, oh he's, right, right, right. Oh, he's right, right. drunk. He's drunk. Oh, he's oh, drunk. Oh, God. goes Rockman. Oh, God. I don't know. Let's run that back and we'll watch it in slow motion. We'll watch it in slow motion. You think he just was punch drunk? Not listening. <laughs> his attitude now, he looks like his daddy in whatever Rocky movie that Oh, oh that one hurt. That one hurt. That one hurt. Oh, he's drunk. Oh, he's drunk. Oh, he's drunk. Oh, he's drunk. Oh, oh, down God. he goes, Rockman. You think he was punch drunk or was that bad choreography? Because some people say it looked like he was waiting for the uppercut and the choreography was all fucked up. You know, they didn't get in the ring and really practice it out. It looked kind of shake. Come on. Let's be honest. Let's go full screen. I'm going to play it back for you. Let's see if they got this shit in high definition. I mean, 720p is kind of high definition. You know, but let's go. Let's go look at it, bro. He's not okay. What? A lot of time left. I don't think he's getting up. That would hurt. Oh, oh that would hurt. Or either he's not listening. <laughs> His attitude now, he looks like his daddy in whatever Rocky movie that Oh, oh that one hurt. That one hurt. That one hurt. Oh, 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 he's drunk. Oh, he's drunk. Oh, he's drunk. Oh, 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 goes Rockman. Oh, God. And he, I don't think he's getting up. He's going to get up, but I don't, I don't know how well he's going to be. I don't think he's going to be. I don't think he's okay. Minute and 40. He's not, he's not okay. He's not okay. He's not okay. I mean, he do look gassed out of his mind. One shot to wow. take him out. He's not okay. One shot to take him out. He's smiling. Yeah, he's not okay. Morrison's not. He's not, he's not okay. He's got a minute and a half. He's not okay. Wow. Wow. Yeah. I don't know. I'm going to let you, the people, so decide. Me, personally, I'm not sure. Let's go look at the replay. I'm not sure. 
You think he had no good dirty flopper? You think he's going to flop for your pay-per-view dollars next week? The pay-per-view is going to be next Saturday, right? Wait, no, it's a Sunday night fight. It is, no, it's Saturday. Uh, Saturday, um, August the 6th on Showtime, it's going to be $59.99 on pay-per-view. The undercard is going to feature, um, I put it down below in the description box. It's going to feature um, Amanda Serrano taking on a Brenda Cabarabajal. Uh, Brandon Lee is on that joint and um, another fighter I forgot but basically the undercard is some C-level bullshit I'm gonna keep it 100 with you you know ain't really nothing you know there but look at the replay as much about character as he did uh, maybe more so than ability yes. I don't know he do look fucked up and also you know I don't think it's a flop I don't know I don't think it's a flop I think it's like he ate that mean ass. What was it? Was it a left or a right? Let's watch the replay. I think he ate that punch. And then, you know, he just was in the twilight zone as he was hunched over. But it's looking like he's waiting for an uppercut to come from some bad choreography. It do look kind of fucked up. But then the way he go to fall on his face, it's just, I mean, he's down. But then, like, does he wake up and then, like, Start falling backwards because his legs is not there. Eh, it just looks fucked up. He has a huge heart. Man. I think. Did the Argue about it. Roy, take us through the end. Right here, we see this. Um, that straight right hand is what hurt him right there. That straight right hand was bad. He was hurt right there. He stood there for a minute. Then he followed with uppercut, followed by a left hook, and down he went. Let's go full screen. Let's go full screen. I don't know, cuz. Shit look a little fucked up. The end. Right here we see this. Um, that straight right hand is what hurt him right there. That straight right hand was bad. He was hurt right there. He stood there for a minute. Then he followed with uppercut, followed by a left hook, and down he went. He was hurt really bad from that right hand. But when he got up, he was okay. He was still in the fight, so he the jab. Hands down, he's small, he knows what he's doing. So he's back together pretty much. He caught with the jab. Got caught with the upcut that we didn't go down. His legs didn't buckle. So he still was in the fight. I don't know. I don't know. I think that he was I, I think that he was he was dazed. And he woke up when he saw the 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 punch coming. I think he was dazed right here. You know, ain't know where he was. And then, you know, let me slow it down for you a little bit. Let me slow it down a little bit. Slow motion for you. I think he saw, he like, oh shit, I'm back in a fight. Mm. But if you look, he off his feet. Like he kind, I don't know, cuz. All right, I'm going I'm to let it play through. I'm going to let it play through. I'm going to let you, the people, decide. Your voices shall be heard. Let's go slow motion. I think he punched drunk right here. Like he kind of out of it and he, he wake up and he like, oh shit, he see it coming. But then look how he go off his feet. Look at his feet. He's off them joints right now. He comes down awkwardly, legs kind of give out, and then boom. Oh, and he took he took one grazing going onto the ground, ass all up in the air. Let's go to the stoppage. So look, you can see he's he's setting up something because he starts, he's pawing out there with the jab to find the range. And then he's gonna let go two big ones. The uppercut is what getting. But if that left hook would have came around, like in connected full speed, like full impact, he would have been gone. So look, he right there. Look at this. Look at this shit. Oh, he pawing with that joint. It's like, oh, it's connecting. You just right there. Another one. Oh, it's right there. Now load up. He's trying to pull the glove down. Uppercut's coming. Take that. And then this one tried to kill him. But it just was, you know, like it was a pawing shot. And the ref was like, you know what? I've, I've seen enough. 
I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, Malik Scott joint. That was a don't get me started on that. You know, they tried to scrub that footage from the Internet, like the actual scene of him, you know, flopping. And, you know, what? let me see if I can find it for you before we move on to the next topic. By the way, what are you guys doing this Friday night? What are you guys doing? Wilder Malik got highlights. You got to go to the dark web damn near to watch this shit. Because they try to hide it. Let me see if I can find it. The uh the flop. This is just the highlights, but they don't really show the full, like the slow motion joint. Oh, they do. This was this was this was bad. This was bad. This was ugly right here. Bro. And he was, bro, this really hurt my feelings because I was talking all this shit. I was like, yo, man, Malik Scott. And at the time he was, it's going to be the best boxer Deontay Wilder ever fought. He's in for it. And then when I found out they was friends. <sighs> bro. Hurt my feelings. And he was really acting all dazed and shit like he was fucked up. I was distraught. Oh, here's the here's the better angle. I was like, why? Didn't he blink or wink or some shit? Then he go. Look, bro. Ah, no. Ah, no. That that hurts right there. I'm gonna let it play through. Look, this is the allegedly how he got his ass knocked out. I can't do it. How much more of that can I take? I can't look at that anymore. Anyway, about Haseem Rockbond, you know, I don't know. You know, here's the thing. Oh, by the way, he said Jake Paul brought him followers. He's got 260K now. What's he been up to? I mean, he, he definitely can't lose. Because he's he's like he's like our savior. We need him to win. We need him to beat Jake Paul. You know, like he's our boxing guy. Remember how everyone ganged up on Jenny Sushi for Kubret Pulev when she tried to say, you know, that he was a, a, a deviant, a predator? Like we are rallying behind, or, or is it just me? I think that we as a boxing community, we need to rally behind Haseem Rahman Jr. We need him to do it. We need him to end all this bullshit because it's not going to be good for us if Jake Paul beats a real boxer, you know? And the Rockman family, just like Tyron Woodley and just like fucking Nate Robinson, they will go down in shame. They'll be shamed. He's got to get it done for us, the people, you know? So the guy he fought was um McKenzie. Nobody on his resume that we know of. And it's a bunch of whole nothing on here. Five and 18, four and two. And it's like, as soon as he steps up in competition, that's when he gets his head knocked off. You know, because look at this. This is, this is horrible. It's pitiful. You see, you see what I'm seeing? You know, fifth, five and 18, four and two, one and nine, one and eight, five and three, three and 19, 26 and 21, four and 15. Jesus, you know, three and 12. I mean, three and 11, three and 10, four and 11. Debut, debut. And then as soon as he steps up to a 19-0-2 guy, he gets his head knocked off. Or flops. You're the people. You decide. So the fight's going to be on pay-per-view. Showtime, $59.99. Speaking of flop, anybody buying this joint? Who's buying it? You guys buying it? Who's excited? Anybody? No. 
I'm buying it. I got to because, uh, you know, I got to do my job and shit. I'm going to be here. But here's the undercard. Brandon Lee. Brandon Lee versus Will Madera. Aston Silve. I'm going to call him Silve versus Abrulio Rodriguez. And then you got Amanda Serrano taking on Brenda Carabajal. And that's the card. All right, Eric, you're a real one. That's the card. That's the pay-per-view card. So who on the undercard for the hardcore boxing degenerates? Like, who on this undercard are you looking forward to? I'm only looking forward to, you know, Amanda Serrano and really, you know, Brandon Lee. Everything else, hell, I'm not even going to lie to you. I might be asleep. I might be doing, I like to take nap. I like to take naps. Uh, if the undercard is trash, and then I wake up like halfway through the co-feature or or between the uh, co-feature and the main event during the filler content. And then I get to do my streams later. Who knows? This is not a card that really interests, you know? I mean, Amanda Serrano, they're talking about fucking trying to bring Katie Taylor down to 126 pounds. They tripping. Brenda Carabajal. I, I've, I feel I've seen her fight before, but who? This is just a fight to get her, you know, some money and, you know, keep her busy. 18, 5, and 1 with 9 KOs, 31 years old. I've seen, they just be pulling these Argentine women out of anywhere. Did you notice? It's a lot of Argentine female fighters. They just be pulling out their asses. I may have seen her fight Rose Volante, like when I was uh, watching tape, because I've interviewed Rose Volante. I covered her when Katie Taylor fought her here in Philly. You know, but I don't, you know, I don't know this, this woman. You know, no disrespect to her, but I don't know who this woman is. Do I know this woman? It's next Saturday. It's on pay-per-view. I tried to watch that bullshit, cringe-ass KSI versus Alex Wasi or Wasabi, whatever the fuck his name is. Bro, I couldn't do it. They had a press conference earlier today. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I was trying to watch that shit, and I was like... The chat was going too fast. It was like 26,000 people in that motherfucker. And I just couldn't get into it. I'm like, yo, what are they What are they talking about? I can't relate. But for me, those are the type of cards where I'm covering because it's a money grab. So I don't have no interest in the fighters or what they're doing in their personal lives. I know it's not going to be no rankings. I'm just going to do my post-fight video for, this, for the cheddar, the money grab. That's what I'm doing it for. But do I give a fuck about it? Hell no. No way. But yeah, overall, this card doesn't really, you know, uh, really call out to me. It ain't nothing really there, I guess. But anyway, uh, moving on. 